Hey guys, um, want to do a video on the build of this 69 Dodge Charger uh, Hot Wheels car. Guys, my build table's an absolute disaster because I'm working about, about three, four different cars at the same time. What a dumbass, but anyway, um, this has been a absolute disaster. Not not disaster, but nightmare. Um, the chassis putting it together is not at all fun. It twists, it shapes, it does everything you don't want it to do. Trying to get it to stay together, it's not fun. You almost need to be an engineer. The inner body decking... I don't use super glue on my cars, but on this car I had to use super glue. And the kicker to activate it just to hold everything together. Um absolute nightmare. Um I I hate saying anything bad about a company's kit, but do yourself a favor and don't get this kit. The instructions are horrific. Um, they don't show you exactly, okay, like this um, bar right here. They don't show you where it goes. It just goes to the bottom of the thing, okay? Doesn't show you what angle, nothing. Down here, here's another one where this piece it doesn't show you angle if it's supposed to be straight up if it lays back a little bit if it whatever um that piece itself right there that you get well mine the whole corner of it is short so the quality inspector people that are supposed to, it should look like that on this side. It's also got a short right directly in the middle. So the Chinese inspector people that are supposed to be doing this stuff are not doing it well at all. But what do you do? Um, but like I said, I mean, this building this kit it's a total crap shoot as to how stuff goes i mean like like that i mean it doesn't show you anything about how that damn interior actually goes together the angles of it um you know because there again by looking at that you think that they go straight up and down but it has to angle to fit right to go in and, and and like I said it just it's hard to understand I mean I've built full size race cars worked on full size race cars for close to 40 years and these instructions and the build leave me scratching my head so like I said, the instructions suck. Because, um, like I said, just different things. It doesn't show you that I feel it should. Um, you know, there's... Oh, that's another thing, too, at the chassis. Um, you know, it's got the one back bar. But there's a spot there for another bar. Okay, well, it doesn't show it in the instructions. You know, I mean, there's this... I, I don't recommend this kit. And like I said, that's, that's bad. I hate saying that, but... By the horrific instructions... And just the way this thing all, bo all goes together... I mean, it's, I'm going to have to clean all that kicker and uh, sand down that uh, super glue and all that before I spray it aluminum. 
um, it's just, like I said, guys, save me money. Um, don't, don't get it. I mean, I'm going to finish it because part of the group building for model car guy. But, um, like I said, you almost need to be an engineer to figure out how to put this thing together. And, uh, that's definitely not me. So, all right, guys. Well, like I said, I, um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up because it's a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, I'm working on another NASCAR kit. The other, the Ernie Irvin number four. I still got my first responders group building. I got to get done. I'm way behind on that. Uh, Mustang 60. Um, working on it. Yeah, got a lot going on. So, then this thing. So, um, yeah, in, in trying to test fit this thing into that, it's... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go. But uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Glad you found it. And uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.